Hello there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis coming to you on YDC TV on Monday at about 3.22 p.m. Just here to say hello and I'm going to go over a few different things during this video. I'm going to go over the five Reiki principles, some common myths and misconceptions, or one big one really, about MS and men, and also a bit about breathing. So the first thing I wanted to go over, which leads me to this, my, my, my call to action for my videos. If you like me or my channel and you want to see more, you'll eventually over here, I believe, you will see a little red circle to subscribe to my channel. It's free to do. YouTube will give you occasional notifications if I make changes to my channel, if you click on that. If you click on the bell next to it, it'll give you constant notifications. So I don't really recommend that, but that's up to you. Um, you can also leave me comments down below, thumbs up, thumbs down, etc. But anyway, I want to go into the five Reiki principles because somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying that they considered that their first Reiki lesson, that they were interested in Reiki. And I love that. And I just want to let the person who said that know I love that idea. And if you have any other questions about Reiki, I am more than happy to help. I'm definitely a source. If you want to come to me, you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help people learn Reiki. Um, I don't think people should have to pay a ton of money to learn it either. So if you want help, just get in touch with me and I can definitely help you out. I can send you information too. I can't get you certified, but I can definitely be a guide if you need it. I love that idea, so please let me know again if you want more. But just to start you out, if you're interested in the field of Reiki, one of the very first things you will learn if you start taking courses in it or anything are the five Reiki principles. So I just wanted to go over what those were. Um, also, just so you know, usually the affirmations when you say these, you, if you look them up online, you can Google it, Google five Reiki principles, and you'll find these. Most of them will recommend that you start each one off with just for today. This is a lifestyle thing, and it's permanent, but for each one, you might want to start out by saying that. that that's really your call. I mean, it's just for today, I will not succumb to anger. Just for today, I will not be overcome by worry. Just for today, I will do my work honestly. Just for today, I will appreciate all of my blessings. And just for today, I will love every living being on the planet. And that last one's a really hard one. So if you find yourself struggling with that last one, no, you are not alone. I think out of all of them, that's probably the hardest one to truly follow. They sound very simplified when you lay them all out like that. They're all pretty challenging, but that last one's a real doozy, um, I, I've found anyway. I, I have a hard time with that one. So again, no, you're not alone if you have trouble with that. Um, that is a hard one. It's, it's hard to always be forgiving, especially when you're watching the news nowadays. It's hard to do. So again, you're not alone if you're struggling with that one. I think, I think that's one that everyone struggles with quite a bit. But anyway, on to the next one, the MS misconception, a very big MS misconception that continues on to this day. I actually heard someone bring this up in a focus group recently. They thought that men didn't get multiple sclerosis, and that's not true at all. Um, my demographic, I looked at my audience demographic for the lifespan, the lifetime of my page, and it said that it was... 69% female and 31% male. And I remember when I read that saying, oh, that sounds about right. That that sounds about like the statistic for MS. There are quite a few men who have it. I know a lot of men who have it. There's a lot of celebrities who have it too, just to name two out of many. Um, Montel Williams and Jack Osborne, those are two very well-known people who have MS, but there's more than that. I'm, I'm leaving out a bunch of names and I mean no disrespect by that, just doing it in the interest of time. But that's the MS misconception I wanted to address. And then last but not least is breathing. And this is something that comes up again and again. I've had a few people talk to me about this because the one thing I always hear is you should breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth when you're doing energy healing or Reiki. I hear that all the time. And I've had a couple of different people tell me that that's a problem for them. It's a problem for them for a variety of reasons. One person actually told me she prefers to just breathe in and out through the nose. And she finds it distracting to have to switch from one to the other. Distracting enough that it takes away from the experience. One of the nice things, in my opinion, it's a nice thing about energy healing and Reiki is it's very case-by-case -case basis. And you have to go with what works for you. 
And if breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth is not an option, I say just do what's most comfortable. Don't force it. If it feels forced, then it's not working. You need to do it in a way that feels as natural as possible. So again, don't worry about it. If you can't breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, breathe however is comfortable. If you're congested and you can't breathe in through the nose, do the mouth breathing. Do what works best for you. And that's pretty much everything I was going to address today. I will be back with more videos. Um, it would be great if you want to leave me questions, anything like that down below. I make a lot of my videos based on feedback I get or questions I get. So let me know if you have any, any more questions and I will field them as much as I can. Anyway, thanks so much as always. Namaste, peace and light, and I will see you again in a few days. Take care. Cheers.